Hi, so it's 2019 and a lot of you guys are still using Windows 7 and I have no problems with that. But in 2020, Microsoft will officially end of life Windows 7. You'll be able to use it. You just won't have the ability to take updates. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. When I was using Windows 7, I disabled the update service. I didn't want the updates. You're taking a huge risk, but I had no problems with it. There were times I took updates and it broke my system. I was unable to launch my specific applications. A lot of us jumped on Windows 10. It's a fantastic system. Really reliable, but there's a few problems with it. Telemetry sends your data back. Bloatware. So we kind of have to deal with that. And the one thing that really sucks besides the sending the data back, automatic updates. You restart your computer for whatever reason and it's installing updates and you really have no control over that. Yes, you can set up GOP and all of that nonsense, but it's not always 100%. So what can we do about Windows 10 communicating with home? Well, there's a few things you can do. You can go to star, settings, privacy. We're going to go right here to diagnostic and feedback. You're going to have these two options. They're grayed out for me and I'm going to explain why in a second. So you have basic and full. Basic is only going to send information about your hardware. If you have the full option enabled, they can see a lot of information. Now, if you want to take it a step further, I have a script you can run. It's going to get rid of telemetry. It's going to get rid of all the bloatware, all those games that come pre-installed with Windows 10 that you really can't get rid of. Even if you get rid of them, when you restart your system, they come back. And I'm not even sure if you can do a GOP. But if you run this script, and I'm going to show you in a second, it'll take care of all of that. No telemetry, none of that stuff. So before I show you how to do this, there's a couple of things we need to talk about. If you right click on the start menu, you might notice on your system, instead of command prompt, you're going to see PowerShell. I changed mine. Let me show you how to do that. So you want to click the start menu, go to settings, go to personalizations. You want to go to task. You want to go to taskbar. And you want to look for this option. Replace command prompt with PowerShell. It's going to be turned on. Just turn it off. Once you do that, you'll have command prompt back, which is great. Now, if you don't want to do that, just click the search and type in CMD. Right click and run as an admin. It's that simple. All right, so let's open command prompt. I'm going to run it as admin. And what I want to do, I want to change the locations of that script that I have, which is the Windows 10 debloater script. And I'm going to highlight the path. So if I type in DIR, it's going to show me the content of this folder. I can minimize this. So now that we know we're in the proper directory, you're going to type in PowerShell. Now, once you do that, you want to check the readme file. You have this command here. You're going to right click, copy. You're going to paste, enter. It's not going to do anything. Now you're ready to run the program. I'm going to paste, press enter. I can get rid of all of this. Now, this is going to open up and you have a couple of options here. You have remove all bloatware, remove bloatware with blacklist, remove bloatware without blacklist. You know what? Just remove all bloatware. Once you do that, it's going to go through a process. It's going to take a while. I'm not going to do it because I already did it. Once it's done, you have additional changes. Disable Cortana. Uninstall OneDrive. Disable telemetry slash task. You want to do that. Install.net 3.5. Also, you have this option here. Stop edge PDF takeover. Then you have this option here. Unpin tiles from the start menu. Now, once you do this, it's going to completely clean out your start menu. If I show you my start menu, check this out. This is all I have. If you don't do it, you're going to have a lot of broken uh, shortcuts. So it's better off if you just completely get rid of everything in your start menu and then just pin back the applications that you like to use. And then the final option, remove bloatware registry keys. Go for it. So now that you finish running the script, restart your computer, telemetry is off, all the bloatware is out of the computer, and you're going to notice the computer is actually going to be a little quicker. So remember, guys, all of this is optional. You don't have to do any of this.